RealFlow is the ultimate tool for creating both small and large scale fluids. It is very straightforward to use and produces stunning results. It all starts here in the 3D platform, where we will model the objects that will interact with the simulation. We will export our geometry to a .sd or Alembic file, as will be the case in RealFlow 2013, for our connectivity plugins. RealFlow is compatible with 3ds Max, Maya, Houdini, Cinema 4D, Soft Image, and Lightwave. Via this conversion plugin, we will import the required geometry, or better yet, a reduced and optimized version which will participate in our simulation. The simplified version of the geometry is known as proxy. RealFlow can simulate both fluids and rigid and soft body dynamics, and can even fracture objects. When we open RealFlow, we have a graphic user interface through which we are able to adjust the values of the simulation and sculpt fluids accordingly to our requirements. Once the values have been stored in the scene, we will then calculate the simulation. Using RealFlow nodes, we may then simultaneously simulate different versions of the same scene. This significantly increases the speed and efficiency of the project as it allows us to simulate several different versions at the same time, meaning we don't have to sit idle while waiting for the scene to calculate. On the other hand, we can use RealFlow nodes to simulate different elements in the same scene. We can even split up the scene into separate volumes and send each of them to different machines. We call each of these volumes iDocs. Once the particle simulation has been completed, we have two options. We can either mesh within RealFlow to generate the geometry of the fluid to import into our 3D platform or, even better, skip the process of meshing by using the RealFlow render kit. In this case, we will go with the second option which is faster and much more efficient. In our 3D platform, we will import simulated particles using the connectivity plugins. We must define the characteristics that we want to apply to this sequence, for example, whether we want to mesh the particles as particles or as a consistent mass of fluid. The RealFlow render kit will then generate this at render time. When we have finished setting the desired values for the appearance of the fluid, we will conclude by texturing and lighting the scene for